all over Jerusalem and around Israel. I couldn't help but be impressed by the enormous churches. The efforts people took to build them, where and how they built them. Christian, Muslim, Jew, all occupying much of the same space. Beautiful buildings filled with wonderful treasures and some uh, somehow right in the middle of ground zero for God's mercy and grace for the world. There are those who just don't seem to get the message. In Bethlehem, there is a statue of St. Jerome. He's largely responsible for the Latin Vulgate, which influenced the King James Bible that we read. He's always rendered with a skull. In paintings or sculptures, there's always a human skull with him. Why? He kept a skull on his desk to remind him of his mortality. We don't like to think about dying, but St. Jerome was obsessed with finishing his task before he died. The world would be a different place if we thought like that. I must be about the Father's business. I don't have an eternity here to accomplish what he has planned for me. I need to get a move on. All over the Holy Land and the world today. People are just too busy for Jesus. These last couple of pictures are from the Via Della Rosa. Here at station number four of the cross, we have station number four. With a trash filled alley on one side. And out of the frame on the left, a belly dancer costume shop. Think Victoria's Secret with a Middle Eastern twist. That moment when I took this picture was probably the lowest moment on our trip. It reminds me of when Jesus entered the city in Luke chapter 19 verses 37 through 41. And when he was come nigh even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. Up in Beth Sheehan, I saw this one lone tree on the top of a barren hill. And I thought of that verse. If these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. The lonely tree looks like one lone worshiper raising hands of praise to God. And I don't want it to just be me who praises and thanks him. But I know that if it were only me, he would still be pleased to receive my thanks. So I say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The video you just watched it's just the first in a series of videos that we plan to post at the Cyber Sunday School website on YouTube. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope that you'll come back and visit us again to catch the other videos from our trip to the Holy Land in 2007. God bless you. Have a great day.